Ah, vas-y, moi je lance. Ah, vas-y, tu... on dit quoi Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. So today, we are going to read a new book for Fayel. So, so that's a book in French. And you see, there is a wolf uh, writing something on the... On the board. Loup. Non, ça c'est. Ce wolf, c'est un loup. Wolf. So it's written. It, it's written in French. Je tue il m'embête, which means in English, I you. Bodami. On tourne la page. Ah il m'a dit quelque chose. Okay, okay, but hang on. We need to read the book. Okay, so. These are two classmates. There are two classmates sitting at the table, and and it's written. Ibozami. Qu'est-ce qui se passe? So the teacher is there, and then the door opens. Said, knock, knock, knock. Can I can I bother you for a second? So the lion is coming in. And the teacher said, uh, "Wait for me. Don't me be be kind, please." The kids. So he goes away and he leaves the classroom, and the kids are there and they say, "Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid." So he's laughing. So the teacher is away now, and so the there's this little one that is missing with his friends is you know is pulling his hair and said uh, I don't want to be stupid but I'll be bothering you said the little wolf so what does the rabbit the rabbit say ha ah, you can even try to bother me and he run away so what happens then so the wolf run after the the rabbit And the wolf said, "Oh, don't try! Don't be stupid. If you believe that you can run away, I I'll catch you." Here we go," said the, the wolf. "I catch you! I catch you through the ears because the rabbit's got a very large ear. It's too bad for you that you have la large ears because you are a rabbit." So the rabbit complained and said, uh, "Help! Help! This wolf keeps bothering me." So there is this big mouse coming what does she do she grabbed the wolf by the ear and they said you see now i can bother you also and there is this new classmates coming and they say you see i'm bigger than you so i can also lift you so there is this uh, hornbill that's lifting uh, a mouse they're lifting a, a wolf that's lifting a rabbit And he said, oh, it's too bad, because sometimes even the girls can bother the, the boys. And you see, this is... Because she's really tall, she can lift everybody. It's a long giraffe. It's a, yeah, kind of a giraffe. And he said, oh, don't mess with us. So the three pigs, you know, are stacked each, each other. So they're really tall now, and they can lift everybody. So everybody is lifting everybody. And then there is this, what is this coming up? The yeah. frog. So the frog yeah. climbs on top of the three peaks. And I said, I'll be the last one to bother everybody. And she was about to lift, but she is only pulling the ears off the peaks. Then the teacher gets in. And, I, and she said, nobody will bother me because anyway, I don't have any ears. A frog don't have any ears, so nobody can pull his ears. And then the teachers get into the room. And then the rabbit complains and says, look, they keep bothering me. So he complains to the wolf, they complain to uh, the other animals. And they say, no, that's not true. That was him bothering me. That was him bothering me. That was him bothering me. That was him. That was him. And that was it. And the, 
And the teacher is like, what happened to this? So he's not happy, he said, okay, because everyone bother everyone. Everybody goes sit in a corner and wait. So they all go sit in a corner. Too bad for all the classmates. You see, so they are now in a classroom. There is nobody anymore on the chair and they all sit in a corner and they feel a bit sorry. And the teacher said, mm, that's really embarrassing. There is nobody anymore listening to the teacher. Voilà, that was the end of the story. Yes. What do we say? To our friends, that we say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, the funny friends. Bye bye.